In this video, we will learn how to animate hands in After Effects. So this is the lesson 2 of the explainer animation course and in the next lesson we will learn how to animate this egg cracking animation. And in case you have missed the previous lessons of this course then you can check it out from the link in the description. And you can get all the assets and the files you would need to follow along with this course from the link in the description as well and also in the pinned comment section. And before moving forward do hit the like button and comment down below because your likes and comments really motivates me to make more free courses and tutorials like this. So without any further delay, let's dive right into After Effects. Okay, let's start with creating a new composition. So let's name it Explainer or Cooking Explainer. And with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and with a frame rate of 30 FPS. Let's keep the duration of around uh, 15 seconds. Press OK. So in Illustrator, here we have the illustration with all the layers separated. But you can notice that the artboard size is uh, smaller than the actual artwork. Now, if I try to import this in After Effects, uh, the, the portion that is outside the artwork is going to get cropped out. So for that, I would need to expand the artwork size. So let's zoom out in the Illustrator. So go to Properties, then Edit Artboard. And after that, you can just move the cursor to any of the corner and when you see this cursor changed like this just press and hold the shift key plus the alt key and then drag it outward right now you have scaled up the artwork in all the direction in the same amount same we are going to do with the frame 2 and don't forget to save it here in illustrator okay now in after effects let's start with animating the frame 1 so when you extract the downloaded project file from our website, this is the folder structure you should see. Inside the illustration folder, inside layer separated, we will import frame 1 illustration. So simply click and drag and drop it here in the project panel. Now keep the settings as it is. This one as composition, this one as layer size. Press OK. And drag it and drop it here in the timeline. Let's get inside the composition. Let's log the background layer and I'm just going to convert this forum layer into a shape layer and delete the illustration layer. And let's parent egg and the thumb layer with the fingers layer and move the anchor point somewhere around here. Also let's move the anchor point of this forum layer somewhere around here. Now we are going to bring in this hand with an angular motion. So let's open the rotation property. And let's start the animation from the second frame. Add a keyframe. Let's go to next 8 frame. And let's add a keyframe. So at the start, we're just going to rotate it like this. Okay. So we have to parent the fingers with the forearm. Now let's rotate it like this. And if you want, you can even add a little position keyframe as well. So when you add keyframes, press U in the keyboard to open only the properties with keyframes. Now let's add a keyframe over here and at the start I'm just going to move it outside the frame. Okay now let's convert these keyframes into easiest keyframes. So select the keyframes, press F9, go to the motion graph editor and let's decrease the ease at the end because we are striking on the ground. So we don't need any ease over there. And now this hand is actually moving in perspective. I mean, it is going far away from the camera. So when it is uh, striking the uh, table, it is going away from the camera. So for that, we have to scale down the hand, this uh, this portion and as well as this portion of the forearm so that it looks like it is in perspective. So let's select the fingers layer and let's open the scale property, add a keyframe. And here also, let's add a keyframe. At the start, I'm just going to scale it up like this. Maybe rotate it and let's bring it inside for a moment. And uh, let's scale it to about 150%. Let's open the shape path property of the forum layer and let's add keyframes over there on all the shapes inside the forum layer. Press U again to open the properties with keyframes. And let's add keyframes at the end. And here we are just going to scale up the portion of the forum. You have to just uh, select the path and uh, to select all the anchor points of the shape path, just click and drag it, double click on it and you will get this transform box. 
and now we can simply scale it up like this just like a shape layer and just adjust the bezier handles a bit so that the overall structure looks same it's just that the perspective is changing but the structure of the forearm should not change and here i think we can scale down the hand a little bit let's give it 90 percent and also let's scale down the shape path on this area and now we have to just match the motion graph editor for all these linear keyframes so for that just select any of the pair of keyframes and i'm using is copy it's a free plugin to copy and paste motion graph editor so select the keyframes copy click on copy select the other set of keyframes and click on the paste section is same with this linear keyframes and that's how you have simply copied and pasted the motion graph editor and i will be providing the link of this uh, plugin in the description you can get it from there for absolutely free so after this i'm just going to add uh, around two frames of pause after that let's jump on to next eight frames again and copy and paste the initial keyframe and maybe this time i'm just going to give a little less rotation so that it is not fully outside the frame because i'm going to strike it two times and then we're going to change the scene and animate the next hand here i want a very little rotation in the forum so let's give it around minus six degree but a little rotation on the fingers layer about minus eight and also let's readjust the scale because the scale it's not going to scale up this much so let's give it 110 and also let's readjust the shape path of the forum again a two frame pause in between but before that let's match the motion graph editor again let's jump on to next eight frame and copy and paste this set of keyframes again select this match the motion graph editor let's add a pause of two frame again and let's jump on to next eight frame or let's give it nine frame and let's copy and paste the initial keyframe right now the hand is going to go outside the screen again match the motion graph editor so for this portion i think we can speed it up a bit so let's give it around five frame and one frame pause okay it looks good to me so one more thing that we are going to add here in this frame is add a little crack here in the egg so let's select the pen tool and add a stroke over here let's cancel fill and let's for the stroke let's get inside the tapered value and give the end length 100 percent let's rename it crack and parent it with the egg and also place it above the egg layer only and just trim this layer from the start so that it appears only after this frame and also let's use the egg layer as an alpha mat and turn on the visibility all right so let's move on with animating the frame 2 now so from inside the downloaded folder inside the illustration folder inside layer separated now we will import frame 2 and keep the settings as it is and press ok and let's drag and drop it here in the timeline on the main composition on top of the frame 1 so right now i'm not thinking about the timing of the overall explainer animation i'm just animating individual frames right now so let's open the composition so in this frame for this hand we have the fingers in a separate layer so we want a little movement in the fingers later on so let's select the entire hand layer with the thumb and let's pre-comp it together and name it our hand for right hand and also let's move the anchor point exactly at the overlap so for that let's decrease the opacity a little bit so that we can properly see the overlap portion and let's place the anchor point exactly at the center of the overlap all right again let's do the same for this hand for the forearm and for this forearm as well so let's parent this hand with the left forearm and the right hand with the right forearm and let's select all the egg layers 
and parent it with the left hand for now and also we have two separate layers for one for egg yolk and one for egg white and we are not going to animate the egg yolk and egg white in this lesson so we are going to animate it in the next lesson but for now let's turn off the visibility and shy it out so let's select the left forearm and open the rotation property add a keyframe open the position property add a keyframe again we are going to bring in this hand with an angular motion so let's press u to open the properties with keyframes let's jump on to next around 18 frame add keyframes and at the start let's just move it or rotate it like this maybe around 45 degree let's move the uh, move the position property and let's move it down and again let's jump onto like around 15 frame and here we are actually going to add a little bit of overshoot not too much just a little bit and i think we can even add a little rotation in the hand layer as well so let's add keyframes so at the start we can rotate it like uh, around my 20 degree here we can rotate it about minus five and at the end it's going to be back to zero again let's ease the keyframe let's go to the motion graph editor and let's ease it up at the end and also let's add a little bit ease here in this area and let's decrease the ease at the start again let's select these keyframes copy the motion graph and paste it using ease copy and now if we offset the keyframes of the rotation property of the hand by a few frames it's going to add a little bit of follow through and now let's bring in the uh, second hand from let's start the animation from somewhere around here let's select the forum and open the position at keyframe open the rotation at keyframe let's jump on to like around 20 frames and let's add keyframes so let's rotate it in the opposite direction and let's just move it outside the frame is is the keyframe and let's add a little is at the end i think we can slow it down by a few frames Now after both the hands settle down, let's add a few frame pause like around 8 frame pause or maybe 10 frame pause and now we are going to open up the egg, the egg shells. So right now we are going to select the right side of the egg shell, split it at this, uh, at this point. So for that control plus shift plus D to split the layer and parent it with the right hand. And let's jump on to next 18 frames and just move the hand away like uh, like the way we are just going to separate the two egg shells. So for that we are going to animate the rotation property of the hand and the position and the rotation property of the forearm of both the hands. And just easy is the keyframes so in between it may look a bit unnatural when we are just uh, moving the two egg shells uh, on the opposite side because it should look like we are cracking the egg so for that uh, let's jump on to like around nine frame and we're not going to move the hand so much apart but for this one uh, let's turn on the guide and let's move it a bit closer so we're just going to readjust the rotation and the position property so that it should look like we are breaking the shells of the egg well this one looks good to me and one more thing we can select the rotation property of these two rotation keyframes when the hand is coming inside the screen we can just offset it by few frames to add a little bit of follow through Okay, now one final thing that we're going to do is add a little bit movement on the fingers of the right hand. So when the second hand is coming inside the frame, in this motion, we're going to add the movement on the fingers. So let's get inside the hand composition. 
let's select one finger and let's add a puppet pin over here then one here and one here and one here and now let's convert this puppet pins into bone layers so that we can control it with individual layers so for that select the puppet pop property inside the effects go to twig click on links and constraints then click on add pins so let's rename it like one two three four and in the similar manner we are going to add puppet pins and convert those pins into pin layers using the twig base here for the other layers as well okay now we're going to parent the pin layer 4 with 3 3 with 2 2 with 1 similar for the other fingers as well okay now we are going to just animate the rotation property of the individual pin layers of each fingers and maintaining the exact time or timing of this action of the of the second hand so let's start the animation from somewhere around here let's go to the composition and let's select any pin layer like uh, let's start with the uh, pin number two of the first finger open the rotation and again and let's uh, end the animation around here so let's add a keyframe over here so at the start we're just going to rotate it in the opposite direction by around eight degree so let's easy is the keyframe copy these keyframes and paste it on number three pin layer as well and for this one let's offset it by two frame to add a little follow through and we can paste these keyframes on the second and the third finger layers pin layers as well and just uh, offset the keyframes to add a little follow through well this one looks good to me so all right so that's the end of this video and in the next lesson we will learn how to animate a cracking animation in after effects so that is it i will see you in the next one until then goodbye